What's happening, people? And once again, welcome back to youtube.com forward slash Cubcam TV for this, another edition of the Cubcast, our daily news series we're running here on the channel, exploring all the latest goings on in and around the world of international music. We're primarily based in and around the worlds of Afrobeats, Amapiano, Dancehall, Reggae, and everything in between. Primarily, of course, focusing on Afrobeats and Amapiano. They're the two most popular things we discuss on the channel. And I'm excited to get into today's discussion. But as always, if you are new to the channel, do make sure you are getting involved by hitting that subscribe button on the right hand side of the page of course turning notifications on as well leaving a like leaving a comment and all of that good stuff we've got a very interesting bit to dive into today these uh, vlogs are tending to become more and more popular on the channel you guys seem to enjoy them and i enjoy doing the kind of journalistic side of putting news together um and giving you some facts and figures to go with it that's what we love to do and that is what we're going to be discussing today as we look at a historic milestone for one of afrobeats's most uh, kind of celebrated figures someone who has been uh, absolutely killing it for years and undoubtedly one of the biggest names in the genre and ever in the genre. Um, without a shadow of a doubt, he's probably got the biggest album released so far this year. I say probably because that's always going to be up for debate in certain scenarios. But we are, of course, talking about the one and only Burner Boy, who has had a uh, fantastic year so far. Some incredible live performances, um, some wicked collaborations as well. And alongside this, more than anything else, just that sort of notoriety growing around the globe and really kind of solidifying himself as one of the leading figures in African music, period. Period. Um, he's had a number of huge TV appearances, a number of huge festival appearances as well. And also, of course, he has released one of those biggest albums of the year, which is Love Domini. Now, on Love Domini, there is a very important tune, and it goes by the name Last Last. You may well have heard of it. If you haven't have heard of it yet, um, I don't know where you've been because we have a very exciting milestone to discuss today, and that is that the YouTube video for Last Last has finally gone past one, uh, 100 million streams outstanding like i nearly said 1 million there because that would have been an outstanding number to hit but it's gone past 100 million streams get this in less than six months except well, pretty much bang on six months um now i don't know of another music video within this sound that has done that in such a short space of time perhaps love when tt did it maybe the peru remix did it i'm not entirely sure but the actual boom of this record and what the record represents what the record has actually done on a global level is absolutely crazy um it's purely outstanding and it is definitely one of the quickest afrobeats tracks to ever hit this milestone and to be honest any song that hits 100 million on youtube is a genuinely outstanding achievement so uh, just for that alone you've got to say hats off um to burner for actually pushing the interesting thing about this is obviously the music video itself is actually directed by burner boy um and was released um back in june i think no it was released in may that's why it's six months on so it was released in may um and since then it has become one of the actual soundtracks of the year there's no getting away from it um it's been played on so many different festival stages i've heard it in so many clubs and dances and it's undeniably one of the biggest afrobeats tunes to ever be released at this point like when you look at albums every album has a kind of mega moment every great album has a mega moment and you can safely say despite all of the incredible collaborations despite its plenty being one of the catchiest releases of the year last last is the moment on love the meaning that does capture people's attention but there we go this is just an incredible feat um and i wanted to take some time to discuss how big a deal this actually is um now this is a uh, record that has obviously hit over 100 million there are a few other tracks from Burner Boy that have hit over 100 million. Um, I believe Ye on the low and location have all had more YouTube streams and they've all also got more um, on Spotify as well. I believe it's already on 133 million on Spotify um, last last for the listenership, which is incredible. Again, it's only eclipsed by Ye on the low and location. I do think it will overtake both Ye and on the low in the next sort of three to six months because it's only about 20 million behind. And considering it started about 100 million behind um, when they were both popping already, uh, the fact it's caught up so quickly means it's very likely to overtake. Although location is on around 380 million, I believe, on the streaming side of things. So that one might be a little bit more difficult to actually catch up with. But um, it's incredible. This is a genuinely incredible feat. This news obviously comes just after seeing the news that uh, DJ Khaled and Burner Boy are going to be linking up. I saw the video of them eating lobster, which is quite an amusing video. Anything like that from Khaled is always amusing. But this is another, like, it's another mega achievement to tick off the box for Burner Boy, who just seems to be having the most consistently um, exciting year when it comes to achievements, new new appearances, new performances. As I said before, the guys appeared on nearly every single music uh, music TV show under the sun or like sofa show under the sun in America at least. He's done so many live performances of tracks off this album. 
uh, to the point where it's just exciting to see what he's going to do next. And that's what is the most exciting thing about Werner. We never know what's going to happen next. Um, obviously, he opened up the year with a uh, much more sort of stripped back approach. He didn't really have much being released. And then last, last landed. And suddenly, the game entirely changed. Um, and I think what the most interesting thing about this record is that it will go down as one of the biggest Afrobeats tunes of all time. It has obviously that incredibly catchy Tony Braxton sample on the tune. And it's a great example of modernizing um, the Afrobeat sound in very much a Burner Boy centric way. Um, and I think it's incredible. Obviously, we've seen loads of accolades for Burner this year, but I think hitting 100 million on a, on a tune, on your biggest tune of the year in less than six months, is probably the biggest, um, regardless of the Madison Square Gardens performances, which he absolutely killed. Like, there's no getting away from it. He absolutely killed both of them. He killed his O2 performance. He's been killing festival shows all year. But hitting 100 million. Like, that is more than the population of the UK. So that means every person in the UK has watched that video at least once, and then about a third of the population has listened again. Do you know how crazy that actually is as a stat amount? 100 million in less than six months. I, I cannot stress how much of a big deal this is, and considering he has two other tunes in this bracket, but we're talking about Ye and On The Low for his solo appearances. These are two of the most, like, celebrated tunes ever that are still in the Afrobeats billboard charts over on the US site. So... We are talking about a tune reaching legendary status in about a fifth of the time that the other ones hit the legendary status. So it's an incredible feat. Um, and I just wanted to make this video quickly to say a salute to Burner Boy for making this incredible achievement and actually continuing to impress on the global stage. It's awesome. Um, and it does lead us to ask, what is the next thing on the cards for Burner Boy? I don't think we're likely to see anything else from Burner this year. Perhaps maybe a remix of Last Last. If not, we do know that we're likely to get a Last Last remix next year. We've heard tell of different um, potential Last Last remix official ones as well I know a lot of dancehall artists have been taking instrumental and kind of making their own versions but I'm talking about an official uh, remix version that does feature Burner Boy on there I'd be really interested to see um more than anything else, who he would put on an official remix, because I think it'd be someone international, maybe like a Shen Sia, or like, uh, I don't know, an American an American actor we haven't heard before. I would personally love to hear um, Drake on the Last Last Remix. I think that's the perfect time for Drake and Burner to link up. I think that would work perfectly. It has the international appeal. It's one of the biggest tunes ever, so it's no skin off Drake's nose to actually get involved. But that would be my suggestion. And guys, I want to hear what you think about this one. So let me know your thoughts on this track hitting um, 100 million on YouTube. Incredible. That's, take, that's not even including the 100 130 million on Spotify or the uh, live videos that have been taken of this tune or the audio or the lyric videos or anything along those lines which I think is even more crazy the fact that this tune has done all of that and still has all those other ones to count on top of it as well like it's sitting on around 300 million realistically if we're talking about everything combined incredible stuff genuinely genuinely incredible stuff from Burner Boy but there we go as I said guys let me know your thoughts on the uh, on this in the comment section down below and I'd be keen to hear who you would like to hear on an official last last remix let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and as always if you have enjoyed this video do make sure you are getting involved by hitting that subscribe button on the right hand side of the page of course turning notifications on as well leaving a like leaving a comment and all of that good stuff we are now hurtling towards 52,000 subscribers if we can get there before the end of the week that would be incredible and it does mean it is possible we could hit 60k by the end of the year I can't believe I'm even saying that but that is something that is now genuinely on the cards as I said let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and we shall see you all next time have a fantastic rest of your day and peace Oh, oh, sound them sounding so good right now My they sound in a bright and town Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel right now Corp Camp TV Stay locked